Imagine an entire city bustling with activity hidden beneath the ocean waves. This is not some far off science fiction fantasy, but a realm of possibility that engineers and architects around the world are exploring with fervor. We're talking about the enthralling concept of underwater construction, a field that's as mysterious as it is innovative. Delve into the depths of the sea and you'll find a world untouched by the sun, eerily quiet and perpetually in twilight. Yet this otherworldly environment holds the potential to be a new frontier for human habitation, resource extraction and even tourism. The allure of the ocean has always been irresistible to us, and with underwater construction, we're taking our first tentative steps into this unexplored territory. Underwater construction isn't a new idea, mind you. It's been used for decades in the oil and gas industry, building offshore drilling rigs and laying subsea pipelines. But the vision we're discussing today goes beyond mere utility. We're dreaming of underwater hotels offering breathtaking views of marine life, of subaqueous research facilities studying the ocean from within, and of entire colonies living and thriving beneath the sea. The potential is staggering, but so are the challenges. Constructing beneath the waves is like working on another planet. The crushing pressure, the corrosive salt water, the complete darkness, Every element of this environment makes it a logistical nightmare. But where there are challenges, there are also opportunities for innovation. Engineers are developing new materials and construction techniques to withstand the harsh ocean conditions. Architects are designing structures that can not only survive, but thrive in this alien world, taking inspiration from the very marine life that calls it home. And all this innovation isn't just for the sake of underwater construction. The solutions we find here could revolutionize how we build on land as well. Now, as mind-boggling as this sounds, we're going to uncover the challenges and innovations that make these underwater marvels possible. So buckle up and dive with us into this unseen world beneath the waves. Building below the waterline isn't as straightforward as it might seem. Just as skyscrapers reach for the heavens, there are structures that delve into the depths of our planet's bodies of water. But constructing underwater is a whole different ball game, a game packed with unique challenges and obstacles. First and foremost, let's talk about pressure. You know that feeling when you dive into a swimming pool and your ears start to feel a bit funny? That's due to the increase in water pressure and it gets more intense the deeper you go. Now imagine that pressure on a construction project. This increased pressure can have significant effects on both human workers and equipment, making tasks more difficult and requiring specialized gear and machinery. Next up, visibility. We're all familiar with how murky water can get, right? This lack of clear sight can greatly hinder construction efforts. Divers and machines alike need to be able to see what they're doing. And when you're working underwater, that's not always possible. This calls for innovative solutions, such as remotely operated vehicles equipped with cameras and lights and advanced sonar technology. But it's not just about dealing with the pressure and murky waters. The materials used for underwater construction need to be incredibly durable. They have to withstand not only the immense water pressure, but also the corrosive effects of salt water and the occasional run-in with aquatic life. This means that the materials used in underwater construction are often different from those used in terrestrial projects and they have to be rigorously tested to ensure they can stand up to the harsh underwater environment. Let's bring these challenges to life with an example, the construction of underwater tunnels for trains. Engineers and construction workers had to tackle each of these obstacles head on. They had to design tunnel segments that could withstand the immense pressure of the water and the earth above, while also ensuring that the materials used wouldn't corrode over time. 
they had to figure out how to transport and position these massive segments accurately in conditions of low visibility. And they had to do all of this while ensuring the safety of the workers involved. Underwater tunnel construction is a monumental task and a testament to human ingenuity. It requires a deep understanding of the marine environment, advanced engineering skills, and a knack for problem solving. And it's not just about overcoming the challenges, it's about turning them into opportunities for innovation. For instance, the lack of visibility led to the development of more advanced remote operated vehicles, and the need for durability has driven advancements in material science. So, as you can see, underwater construction is no walk in the park, but human ingenuity has found ways to rise to these challenges. It's all about adapting to the environment, using innovative technologies and methods, and always pushing the boundaries of what's possible. And as we continue to explore the depths of our oceans and other bodies of water, who knows what amazing structures we'll be able to build in the future. The Channel Tunnel, a marvel of engineering, connecting the UK and France, is a perfect example of overcoming these challenges. This titan of underwater construction, fondly known as the Channel, is a 50-kilometre stretch of tunnel, 38 of which are under the seabed of the English Channel. It's an unprecedented feat of human ingenuity, a testament to the audacity of ambition and the power of persistence. The construction of the Channel Tunnel was no walk in the park. It was an endeavour fraught with challenges every step of the way, and the solutions devised to overcome them were nothing short of ingenious. One of the most pressing issues was the threat of water seepage. The Channel Tunnel is not just a tunnel under the sea, it's a tunnel under the seabed, buried deep in the chalk mall strata. This chalk mall while providing a stable foundation is also porous, which meant that water could potentially seep into the tunnel. To counter this, engineers adopted a twofold approach. Firstly, a watertight lining was installed within the tunnel. This lining, made of cast iron and concrete, served as an effective barrier against water ingress. Secondly, the tunnel was constantly monitored for leaks using a state-of-the-art leak detection system. This system allowed for quick identification and repair of any breaches, ensuring the safety and functionality of the tunnel. But water wasn't the only challenge. There was also the matter of pressure. Underneath the sea, the tunnel would have to withstand enormous pressure from the weight of the water above as well as the earth surrounding it. To manage this, the tunnel was designed to be circular, a shape that efficiently distributes pressure. The tunnel was also split into two running tunnels and a smaller service tunnel, allowing for maintenance without disrupting the flow of traffic. The service tunnel also served as a safety feature, providing an escape route in case of emergencies. The Channel Tunnel's construction was a mammoth task, with over 13,000 workers from both the UK and France working tirelessly for over six years. Its completion in 1994 was met with global awe and admiration, marking a new era in underwater construction. The Channel Tunnel is not just a transportation link. It's a symbol of human perseverance, a monument to our ability to conquer the most formidable of challenges. It's a testament to the power of innovation and the spirit of collaboration. It stands as a beacon, lighting the way for future endeavors in underwater construction. And yet, it's not the only one of its kind. Across the world, engineers are pushing the boundaries of what's possible, creating marvels that defy the odds and redefine our understanding of construction. From the artificial islands of Dubai to the underwater hotels of the Maldives, the world is brimming with examples of underwater construction at its finest. The Channel Tunnel is a testament to human perseverance and innovation, but it's not the only underwater construction marvel. In Dubai, 
engineers didn't just build under the water, they transformed the sea itself into land. Picture this, an archipelago of artificial islands shaped like a palm tree rising from the waters of the Persian Gulf. This is the Palm Jumeirah, the world's largest man-made island and an engineering marvel that pushes the boundaries of underwater construction. The Palm Jumeirah is a testament to human ingenuity, a monument to the audacity of vision and the relentless pursuit of turning the impossible into reality. But this magnificent structure didn't just appear out of nowhere. It was the result of years of planning, innovation, and overcoming a myriad of challenges. Creating an artificial island is no small task. The engineers had to contend with the warm, salty waters of the Gulf, which are known to be corrosive and harsh on construction materials. The sandy seabed posed another challenge, as it's not the most stable foundation for construction. And let's not forget the environmental impact, which had to be carefully managed to protect the surrounding marine life. So, how did they do it? The answer lies in a combination of traditional techniques and cutting-edge technology. To build the island, more than 3 billion cubic feet of sand and 7 million tons of rock were used. The sand was sprayed onto the seabed using a technique called rainbowing, which involves shooting the sand into the air in an arc so it falls onto the seabed in a thin layer. This method is not only efficient, but also minimizes damage to the environment. For the foundation, the engineers used a method known as vibrocompaction. This involves vibrating the sand at high frequencies to rearrange the particles and increase their density, making the sand more stable and suitable for construction. The rocks, on the other hand, were used to create a breakwater around the island. This protective barrier not only prevents erosion, but also creates a calm lagoon in the middle, making it a perfect location for luxury resorts and residences. The Palm Jumeirah is more than just an engineering feat. It's a testament to the power of human ingenuity and the limitless possibilities of underwater construction. But perhaps the most important lesson from this project is the importance of balance. The engineers didn't just build an island, they created a new ecosystem, carefully considering the impact on the environment and the surrounding marine life. The Palm Jumeirah shows us that with the right blend of technology, innovation, and respect for the environment, we can achieve feats of construction that seem impossible. We can build not just under the water, but also on the water, turning the sea itself into land. As we can see, with the right approach, even the sea can be tamed for construction. Now that we've seen what's possible today, let's delve into what the future of underwater construction might hold. As we look forward, it's clear that the advancements and innovations in underwater construction technology are only just beginning. Imagine a future where we harness the power of the ocean, using its resources to create sustainable underwater cities. These remarkable structures could become a reality sooner than we think, thanks to rapidly advancing technology in materials, robotics, and engineering. In the face of climate change, with rising sea levels threatening coastal cities, underwater construction could offer a solution. By building beneath the waves, we can adapt to our changing environment rather than fight against it. The potential for underwater cities is enormous, providing new spaces for people to live, work and play, all while respecting the delicate balance of our planet's ecosystems. But it's not just about creating new living spaces. Advances in underwater construction could revolutionize industries such as energy, mining and aquaculture. For instance, the development of underwater turbines that harness the power of ocean currents could provide a sustainable and reliable source of energy. And let's not overlook the impact on scientific research. With improved underwater construction techniques, we could build more sophisticated research stations, enabling scientists to delve deeper into the mysteries of our oceans than ever before. 
The future of underwater construction also promises to be safer and more efficient. With the rise of autonomous underwater vehicles and robots, we can carry out construction work in the harshest conditions without risking human lives. As we move towards this future, it's clear that the potential for underwater construction is as limitless as the ocean itself. With every new innovation, we're not just building structures, we're building a better, more sustainable future. The future of underwater construction is as deep and wide as the oceans themselves, full of potential and mystery. From the Channel Tunnel to the Palm Jumeirah, underwater construction has already achieved incredible feats. We've journeyed beneath the waves and into a world where the rules of construction are rewritten. Here, the challenges are not just formidable, they are unique, and they require solutions of exceptional ingenuity. We've explored how these challenges, pressure, visibility, material durability, and environmental impact have been met head-on by pioneers in the field. We've seen how engineers and architects have pushed the envelope of what's possible, creating structures that are not only functional, but also breathtakingly beautiful. Remember our dive into the story of the Channel Tunnel? This impressive structure, connecting the United Kingdom and France beneath the English Channel, serves as a testament to the triumph of human ingenuity over nature's hurdles. It stands as a shining example of overcoming the difficulties of underwater construction with innovative solutions. We also marveled at the architectural wonder that is the Palm Jumeirah. This man-made island, sculpted from the sea itself, showcases the incredible possibilities when ambition, engineering, and a respect for the environment come together. It's a symbol of how we can shape the underwater world while still preserving its natural beauty. But we didn't stop there. We also looked into the crystal ball to explore the future of underwater construction. We pondered on the possibilities that advancements like remote-controlled underwater robots, new materials, and sustainable practices could open up. As our technology evolves, so too will our ability to construct in this challenging environment. In our journey beneath the waves, we've seen that underwater construction is not just about overcoming challenges. It's about turning those challenges into opportunities for innovation and growth. It's about pushing the boundaries of what's possible and redefining the relationship between humanity and the sea. As we continue to push the boundaries of what's possible, who knows what underwater marvels we'll construct in the future.